Okay, let's look at the analysis of how well a binary search tree does. Um, so it, we looked at how to implement all of these, get, put, see if the key is in the tree, and delete. And one thing they all have to do is search for the key or the place to insert. And uh, that will depend on the height of the tree. So we're going to see that the performance depends directly on the height of the tree. Once you've found the relative uh, place in the tree, the number of steps are fairly constant. Uh, so the, uh, the main thing that's going to slow your performance is the height of the tree. We saw very beginning that in a binary search tree, the uh, structure of the tree or its height depends on uh, what order you insert everything. So if you actually have a lot of keys that are already uh, sorted and you insert them, you get a tree that looks like this. So if you have seven items, you actually have a height of seven. Uh, so this is this tree, all these operations are O of N, which isn't very good. Now in the best case, uh, we get trees that are balanced. That, in other words, all the uh, the, the height of the tree is as small as it can be, and for a binary tree, that would mean the height would be O log uh, base 2 of n, or just uh, O of log of n um, performance. So this is what we would want to strive for, but our current implementation of binary search tree doesn't do that. Uh, so we're going to look at uh, met a method to keep the tree balanced as we uh, change its uh, insert uh, keys and remove keys. So to keep the tree balanced, uh, we're going to look at an algorithm to keep the tree balanced when we put and delete keys. We're going to study what's called an AVL tree, uh, which is named for its inventors, um, uh, GM Addison, uh, Vileski, and EM Landis. So they basically took the uh, their initials of their name. Uh, there are other trees that will keep things balanced. So here's a list of other trees that you can uh, look at that keep things balanced. Another one that's studied in computer science classes quite a bit is the red-black tree. Uh, if you're interested in an article about all these trees or techniques, uh, you can look, at, uh, look up self-balancing binary search tree in Wikipedia. So first, uh, to actually implement AVL, we have to implement uh, the idea of measuring the imbalance. So we're going to introduce a balance factor which is going to measure for every node what whether it's balanced or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the for a particular node we're going to look at the height of the left subtree under that node and the height of the right subtree and we're going to subtract the heights. So we're basically going to take the left and subtract the height of the right. Uh, so if you just have a uh, node with no subtrees, the balance factor will be zero. So I'm showing the balance factor here. Uh, here's an example. If you have only the left side, so we have height of one on the left minus the height of the right, so that's one minus zero. Uh, 45 node here would have a balance factor of one. If you have the uh, tree on the right, subtract the subtree on the right is longer or taller than the one on the left, you're going to have a negative uh, balance factor. So in this case we have one a balance factor of one versus a balance factor of two. So one minus two you get minus one. And in this case we have the tree on the right has a balance factor of three and the one on the left has one. So we have one minus three, we get a balance factor of minus two. So I've highlighted this in yellow indicating it's, it's not balanced. In fact, we're going to define uh, nodes that are less than minus 1 or greater than 1 to be unbalanced. They're, they're the ones that we're going to be concerned with. Uh, so here's another example of a tree. And we'll see here's a, an example of a balance factor that's positive because the left-hand side has a, a, a height of 2 and the, the right-hand side has a height of 0. So 2 minus 0, you get a balance factor of 2. So in both of these trees, we don't want to allow nodes that are minus 2 or less, or nodes that are 2 or greater. So the book goes through some math to show you this, which I'm not going to go through on the video lecture. Um, but if you keep the trees so no node is more than 1 out of balance, uh, you, you can follow the, the math in the book 
but basically they arrive at uh, a formula using the Fibonacci sequence, which is interesting, which uses the golden ratio. And so they get the height of a AVL tree will be 1.44 log n. Uh, so at any point in time, the AVL tree is equal to a constant 1.44 times the log of the number of nodes in the tree. So this is great news because uh, all of our searching and replacing, deleting will have a O log of N performance.